welcome you all in this module of Panchakarma through Ayurveda Network. I am Dr. Rajkala Panchakshari Patil, Head and Associate, Department of Panchakarma, Faculty of Ayurveda, IMS BHU. In today's module, we will discuss the practical applications of Swedana therapy and the content of the today's lecture is Swedana and its applications, classification of various types of Swedana, therapeutic use of Swedana and Kerala practices of different Swedana methods. So, what is Swedana? It is the method through which the body regenerate or generate sweat or perspiration using various techniques. Induction of sweating for therapeutic purpose is referred the name Swedana in Panchakarma. The process which relieves stiffness, heaviness, coldness and induced sweating is called the Swedana in Panchakarma. In Panchakarma, the Swedana is considered as a Purva Karma, but mostly procedures like Shashti Shali Pinda Sweda, Pijijil or Patra Pinda Sweda are used as a unique therapeutic process also. There, the Shodhananga Swedana and Shamananga Sweda are two major types which we use in the Panchakarma. Through the use of oil and sudation therapy, one can observe the transformation of a rigid object into a more pliable and flexible state. Similarly, when applied to a human being, this treatment can also induce a comparable effect. Then properties of Swedana Dravyas, these are the routine properties which a Swedana Dravya possesses. That is Ushna, Tikshna, Sara, Snigdha, Ruksha, Sukshma, Drava, Sthira and Guru. And classification of Swedana on the basis of Agni, Sagni and Niragni are two major types of Swedana. And on the basis of properties of drug used for Swedana, Snigdha Sveda and Ruksha Sveda are two classical types of Swedana where we use Snigdha Dravyas or Sneha is called the Snigdha Swedana and where we use the Ruksha Swedana therapy without oil that is the Ruksha Sveda like Lavan Pinda Sveda or Valuka Sveda. On the basis of site, Ekanga and Sarvanga Sveda are the two types, the Pijichil, Shashishali Pinda Sveda for the whole body, Patra Pinda Sveda for the whole body comes under Sarvanga Sveda and Janu Basti or Patra Pinda for the Janu Pradesh or uh, local Swedana or Lavan Pinda Sveda for the ankle Pradesh, ankle joint is called the Ekanga Sveda. Major there are two, three types of Swedana that is Trudit Sveda. One um, among that there are two subtypes. One is Ruksha Sveda, Snigdha Sveda and Snigdha Ruksha Sveda and other is Mrudu Sveda, Madhyama Sveda and Mahan Sveda. And according to Acharya Sushruta, he divided the Swedana in the Sveda in the four types, major types like Tapa Sveda, Ushma Sveda, Upanha Sveda and Drava Sveda. While Harita, in Harita Sahita, he divided the types of Sveda in this among seven types that Loshta, Bashpa, Agnijwala, Ghati, Jala, Fala and Valuka which is very practical things which we use in the daily practice or, practice or in the traditionally in, in India these types of Swedana is used in the routine practice. So, Kashyapa is again divided the Swedana in this eight types that is Hasta Sveda, Pradeha Sveda, Nadi Sveda, Prastara Sveda, Sankara Sveda, Upanaha Sveda, Avagaha Sveda and Parisheka Sveda. Then types of Anagni Sveda that is exercise residing in chamber, warm chamber, covering body with heavy clothing, hunger, excessive drinking, fear, anger, wrestling, application of poultice, exposure to sun rays are the Guru Pravaram, these are the 10 types of Anagni Sveda told by the Ashtanga Rudaya and Charaka. Types of Snagni, Sagni Sveda, according to the Charaka, he divided the whole Sagni Sveda in total 13 types that are the Sankara Sveda, Prastara Sveda, Nadi Sveda, Parisheka Sveda, Avagaha Sveda, Jentaka Sveda, Ashmagana Sveda, Karshu Sveda, Kuti Sveda, Bhu Sveda, Kumbhi Sveda, Kupa Sveda and Hulaka Sveda. So, for the clinical application, we can divide the or we can distribute the Charakas 13 Sveda into the Sushrutas 4 types. So, in Tapa Sveda, Jentaka Sveda, Karshu Sveda, 
स्वेदा कुटी कुटी स्वेदा एंड कूप स्वेदा कम्स अंडर ताप स्वेदा वाइल संकर स्वेदा प्रस्तर स्वेदा नाड़ी स्वेदा अश्म अश्मन स्वेदा कुंभ स्वेदा एंड भू स्वेदा कम्स अंडर उष्म स्वेदा एंड इन द्रव स्वेदा परिषेक एंड अवगाह कम्स अंडर द्रव स्वेदा सो हियर हियर आर द जनरल इंडिकेशन ऑफ स्वेदना दैट इज रायनाइटिस डिजनिया हेवीनेस इन बॉडी पेन इन नेक पेन इन फुट जॉइंट पेन स्टिफनेस इन जॉइंट्स पैरालिसिस सर्वांगगत वाता ट्रेमर्स दीज आल आर द जनरल इंडिकेशन ऑफ स्वेदना ऑफकोर्स एवरीथिंग विच इज इंडिकेटेड कैन नॉट बी केप्ट इन द स्लाइड दैट्स वाय आई जस्ट टूक द जनरल इंडिकेशन देर आर द मेनी हंड्रेड्स ऑफ द डिज वे आर स्वेदना इज इंडिकेटेड दिन स्पेशल इंडिकेशन ऑफ स्वेदना स्वेदना वे आर द स्वेदना इज नीडेड बिफोर द प्रोसिजर और वे आर स्वेदना नीडेड आफ्टर द प्रोसिजर एंड वे आर स्वेदना इज नीडेड बिफोर एंड आफ्टर द प्रोसिजर आर द नस्या बस्ती योगा वमन योग्य एंड विरेचन योग्य इन ऑल दिस कंडीशन द स्वेदना इज नीडेड प्रीवियस टू द प्रोसिजर और प्रायर टू द प्रोसिजर और वे आर शल्यापहर शल्यापहृत मूढ़गर्भा निरहरणा एंड इन सुप्रजा वी नीड द स्वेदना आफ्टर दिस प्रोसिजर्स एंड इन भगंदरा अश्मरी एंड अर्षा वी नीड द स्वेदना बिफोर एंड आफ्टर द प्रोसिजर्स सो स्पेशल इंडिकेशन ऑफ स्वेदना ताप स्वेदा इज इंडिकेटेड इन कफर होगा उष्म स्वेदा इज इंडिकेटेड इन अल्सो कफर होगा द्रव स्वेदा इज इंडिकेटेड इन पित्तानुबंधी वात रोगा एंड उपनहा इज इंडिकेटेड फॉर द वात रोगा एंड निरग्नि स्वेदा इज इंडिकेटेड फॉर द कफ मेधावृत वाता दैट इज द स्पेशल इंडिकेशन ऑफ निरग्नि स्वेदा देन कमिंग टू द डिज स्पेसिफिक क्लिनिकल इंडिकेशन लाइक In clinical practice, there are the different types of sveda is we can apply or we can practice in clinical practice. But we have to choose the special condition of the disease and special type of sveda. So valuka sveda is mostly indicated in ama pradana shotha or whenever there is ama vasta in any disease. So ama vasta of sandhigat vata, ama vasta of vata shonita, ama vasta of रोमेटो अर्थराइटिस और आमावस्था आमावस्था ऑफ एनी लाइक एंकिलोजन स्पॉन्डिलोसिस और एस एल ई देर वालू का स्वेदा कैन बी डन इट इज अ रुक्षा मोस्ट रुक्षा टाइप ऑफ स्वेदना देन उपनाह स्वेदा वेन एवर देर इज वात व्याधि हैविंग प्रिडोमिनेंस ऑफ शूला संकोचा एंड स्तंभा एट द जॉइंट और एट द टिपिकल पॉइंट देयर वी यूज द उपनाह स्वेदा मोस्टली इन द फ्रोजन शोल्डर और टेनिस एल्बो or there is like uh, the ligament injury to the knee joint or uh, any bursitis at the joint there we use the upanaha sveda so that is the kind of sveda where which we use in the vata predominance with sankocha and stambha then coming to the bashpa sveda or patrapinda sveda whenever there is kati shula prushta shula gridrasi vishwashi or joint pain having the pain or the osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis having the mostly predominant pain there we use the bashpa sveda when there is amavastha we can go for the bashpa sveda whenever there is niramastha we can go for the patrapinda sveda so choice of patrapinda uh, leaves also depend on on to the doshas which are involved in that particular avastha or the disease then kshiradhuma that is mostly uh, like kshiradhumam is used we make the bala kashaya with milk we medicate the bala kashaya with milk and the fumes of or the dhuma coming from that shira is used for the shira dhuma so for bell's palsy or ardita it is a special indication after doing, doing the abhyanga with navnita so this is the special uh, shira dhuma sveda next is augaha sveda of course it is as it is the like uh, we use the kashaya to deep the patients that particular anga or that part of the body so it is used in the ashmari mutrakrishcha katishula gudashula shushkarsha parikartika and bhagandara we use the augaha sveda mostly uh, the kashayas like dashmul kashaya or um, panchavalkal kashaya is used or sometime pashan bedadi kashaya is used for the augaha sveda then dhanyamla dhara it is mostly from the south indian practice we use the dhanyamla dhara for uh, whenever there is pitta sansrushta condition of 
और आमावस्था ऑफ एनी डिसीज ऑफ आमावाता और संधिगत वाता और रोमेटर अर्थराइटिस वेन एवर दिस पित्तानुबंधा वी यूज द धान्याम्ल धारा धान्याम्ल धारा इज ऑल्सो इंडिकेटेड इन कंडीशन वेयर देर इज आमावस्था देन कमिंग टू द षष्टिशाली पिंड स्वेदा और अन्नलेपा इज अ पार्ट ऑफ षष्टिशाली पिंड स्वेदा और द प्री ऑपरेटिव फॉर षष्टिशाली पिंड स्वेदा एंड अन्नलेपा इज सेम ओनली द प्रोसीजर इज प्रोसीजरल डिफरेंस इज देयर सो इट मोस्टली यूज इट्स अ काइंड ऑफ ब्रह्मण स्वेदा सो इट इज मोस्टली यूज इन कर्मक्षय प्रधान व्याधि सचाज पक्षाघाता और षष्टिशाली पिंड और वात शोणिता वेर एवर वी नीड द मोर रसायना प्रॉपर्टीज और वेन एवर वी नीड द इम्यूनोलॉजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज और आफ्टर शोधना वेन वी नीड द रसायन और ब्रह्मणा वी यूज द षष्टिशाली पिंड स्वेदा और अन्नलिपा मोस्टली दिस षष्टिशाली पिंड स्वेदा इज यूज इन वात प्रधान कुष्ठा ऑल्सो वेन एवर दर इज क्रैकिंग ऑफ द स्कीन और वेन एवर दर इज वेरी ड्राइनेस इन द स्कीन सो फॉर द इम्प्रूवमेंट इन द कॉम्प्लेक्शन वी यूज द षष्टिशाली पिंड स्वेदा एज अ स्टैंड अलॉन ट्रीटमेंट और अन्नलिपा इज मोस्टली यूज इन द पक्षाघाता फॉर द मसल वीकनेस और फॉर द न्यूरोलॉजिकल वीकनेस वेन एवर दर इज न्यूरो लाइक न्यूरोपैथी वी गो फॉर द अन्नलेपा लोकल बस्ती लाइक कटी बस्ती जानो बस्ती ग्रीवा बस्ती वेर एवर देर इज अ पेन दिस प्रोसीजर्स कैन बी यूज एज अ प्री ऑपरेटिव और फॉर द पेन रिलीफ सो फॉर द जॉइंट पेन सर्वाइकल स्पॉन्डिलोसिस लंबर स्पॉन्डिलोसिस दिस इज दिस कैन बी यूज एज अ पंचकर्मा और प्री ऑपरेटिव सो कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन फॉर द स्नेहना फॉर द स्वेदना इज इफ द पेशेंट इज अल्कोहोलिक इफ द पेशेंट इज pregnant is contraindicated for any kind of svedana bleeding disorder diabetes mellitus poisoning anal pathologies obesity vascular disorders refractive disorders indigestion vomiting having menses that is rajaswala rajaswala and skin diseases are contraindicated so there was a debate between the uh, phys panchakarma physicians that like, like why only rajaswala is contraindicated for swedana so she is not contraindicated for other panchakarma but i am in the opinion that if she is contraindicated for swedana and swedana is pre operative for all the panchakarmas so she is ultimately contraindicated for vamana virechana nasya and basti because before without swedana we cannot go for the further panchakarma so she is contraindicated for all the karmas and the skin disease is also contraindicated for swedana it increases with the Swedana. Then coming to the procedure of Swedana, Purva Karma. Of course, as Pancha Karma is concerned, we have to collect all the things which we are needed during the procedure, before the procedure, and after the procedure. That is called the Sambhara Sangraha. So whatever we are needed for Pancha Karma uh, for Swedana, we should collect. If we want the Patra Pind Patras for the Patra Pinda Swedana, we should collect all the Patras. we should have the methika with with us we should have the shatapushpa we should have the sandhava and we should have have the cutter and kaichi uh, or scissor for the ready use consideration before fermentation therapy we have to consider some, some uh, things which we are going to discuss in the next slide then preparation of the patient which is most important like if you are doing swedana as a stand alone of course without uh, prior preparation we can go for swedana but if we are doing swedana prior to vamana the patient should have the swesnihana properly done dipana pachana and rukshana done prior to the procedure consideration before fermentation therapy dosha which dosha is involved in the pathology that is what charaka says roga rutu vyadhi apeksh vyadhit apekshu na atyushna ati mrudu na cha dravya dravyavan kalpito deshe swede स्वेदा कार्य करो मता सो दीज आर ऑल द थिंग्स वी हैव टू कंसिडर बिफोर गोइंग फॉर द स्वेदना थेरेपी रोगा विच इज द डिज इज इन्वॉल्व और विच द रोगा इज हैविंग द पेशेंट इज हैविंग वेदर इट इज इंडिकेटेड फॉर स्वेदना और नॉट इंडिकेटेड इफ पेशेंट इज हैविंग हिमोफीडिया इफ पेशेंट इज हैविंग रक्त पिता इफ पेशेंट इज हैविंग पैम्फिकस वलगैरिस दीज आर द कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन सो दैट वी हैव टू कंसिडर वेदर दिस डिस इज इन इंडिकेटेड और नॉट like in some patients where we are like in pamphigus vulgaris or in bullous pamphigus we need to do the swedana we need to go for the virechana but patient is contraindicated for swedana so what to do in this condition so there there are the modification we have to do in the swedana procedure in such patients or in mostly swed uh, kushta patient we never go for the major swedana we usually go for the ask patient for the uh, like we do abhyanga mild abhyanga and we ask patient to take the 
hot water bath with the medicated kashaya or decoction of the particular thing like uh, nimba kashaya or with manjishtadi kashaya or with uh, 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 what is that we use uh, aragvada kashaya for the snana so that's what we do we have to consider the what is the roga then what is the rutu rutu means in like usually in cold seasons we need the major swedana procedure but in summer seasons or in the hot seasons we need the mild swedana types of procedure so there whenever there is pitta sansrushta we should go for the avagaha or drava swedha so with dosha, which dosha is involved in the disease is we have to consider whether vata is involved where whether pitta sansrushta vata is there that we have to consider among that or according to that the type of swedha will differ so which rutu which rogi what is the desha region like if we are doing like uh, in delhi when we were doing swedana in november december january we need the mahan swedha or when we are doing swedana in the may or june we need the alpa swedha so that we have to consider or in uh, south india we need a very minor type of swedana but in the himalayas we might we need the higher or mahan swedana so body parts it's also again how to consider like as per charaka says vrushano hrudaya drushti swedayet mrudu naivava madhyamam vankshano shesham avayavam ishtataha so if we are doing the swedana on vrushan hrudaya drushti we have to do the mild swedana or the special care has to taken for to avoid the swedana in this avayavas like in vrushana hrudaya drushti so that's why we cover the eyes or heart with the cold water or gauze piece so this has to be considered in the swedana so atura siddhata pre operative for swedana is we should prepare patient for the swedana like and therapeutic if it is a therapy pre operative swedana we have to do all the dipana pachana rukshana then sneha pana and then we have to prepare for the swedana like sarvanga swedha and if it is a therapeutic swedana if we have we have planned for the shashti shali pinda swedha after virechana or vamana only we should go for the therapeutic swedana for the major swedana so that atur siddhata should be done before the planning swedana so observation of proper fermentation ta shita shula viparme samba gaurav anigrahe sanjate mardave swede swetanat virati mata so that way the patient should relieve from the coldness patient should get relief from the pain patient should feel relieve from the stiffness and patient should feel like the, the heaviness has gone so relieve from the heaviness this should be the symptoms achieved during the sneha uh, swedana so paschat karma of swedana uh, if it is the samyak swedana the it is written like samyak swinnam vimruditam snatam ushnambhubihi shanehi swabhaktam praurdangam cha nivata sharanam sitam bhojayet anabhishandi cha acharam adishet so after swedana the whole body of the patient should be covered with the blanket it should be avoid the direct exposure to the wind rest for the 45 minutes take bath with lukewarm water and take food which is snigdha ushna but should not be kafukara or utklishta abhishandi it should not be abhishandi do different swedha there are different types of swedha like sankara swedha snigdha swedha like shashti shali pinda swedha anna lepa mamsa swedha ruksha swedha like valuka swedha lavana swedha which type of swedha we need in that particular condition should be understood before planning the swedana then coming to the different types of swedana as uh i did my post graduation from the trivandrum so there are like uh, south indian practices of swedana is also there in the this presentation so navarakiri it is called as a shashti shali pinda swedha it's a traditional method of swedana the process by which whole body or a part is made perspire by application of medicinal pudding in the form of bolus tied up in a cloth bag is called the navarakiri or shashti shali pinda swedha it is the major procedure which we it's a bruhana type of swedana which usually we give after shodhana in the patients of the or it is indicated in the diseases of nervous system spinal cord degenerative diseases chronic rheumatism cerebral palsy poliomyelitis muscular diseases or degenerative diseases and it is contraindicated in the conditions where there is 
uh, oozing type of skin diseases or whenever there is amavasta of the disease or whenever there is fever or kapha predominance, this procedure is contraindicated. Coming to the Jambira Pindasveda, it is application of heated bolus bag filled with a fried Jambira and other drugs. Mostly with the Limbu or Jambira, we use the uh, Sendhava, Shatapushpa and uh, Lashun like uh, and turmeric in this procedure. So, it is useful in the Amavata, osteoarthritis, cervical spondylosis and stiffness in the body or joints. It is it gives better result in the cervical spondylosis that is the Jambira Pindasveda. Then coming to the Ela Kiri that is Patra Pindasveda, mostly fermentation is done by the heated bolus bags containing leaves of the medicinal plants. Mostly whichever leaves are available in that particular area or which are the useful in that particular disease is used like what are the routine drugs we use that is Eranda, Arkapatra, Dhatura Patra, Nirgundi. Shigru, Paruna, Vasa, Karanja, Tamarind leaves or coconut, with coconut, coconut scrapping powder of medicines are used to prepare the Patrapinda Sveda. Uh, if there is the Rakta is involved in the pathology, we usually avoid the Arka and Dattura and if the patient is having Kapha Pradhanta or Vata Pradhanta, we go for the Nirgundi or Shigru and if there is Pitanu Bandha, we go for the Karanja or we go for the Vasa. The indications of Ela Kiris are backache, joint pain, Amavata and Sandhivata. Then Mutta Kiri or it is called as a Andasveda. This, in this Sveda, eggs are used as a bolus of Svedana with other ingredients. The indications of Mutta Kiri or Andasveda are post polio residual paralysis, neurological weakness of small joint, small muscles facial paralysis or traumatic condition. Mostly what we do, where we do, it is, a, it is in the trigeminal, trigeminal neuralgia. We get very good result with the muttaki. So, Dhanya Potali Sveda, again in this uh, fermentation type, we use the fermentation done by the heated bolus bag containing seeds of cereals and pulses which are the available or easily available at that time is used for the Dhanya Potali Sveda and indications are muscle pathologies, painful contractions of the muscles or arthritis. Then coming to the Churna Pinda Sveda that is Podikiri, uh, fermentation with medicated powders made in a bolus with cotton cloth is called the Churna Pinda Sveda or Podikiri. According to the condition, we use the Kola Kulatadi Churna, Kottam Chukadi Churna, Krifala Churna for the Podikiri. And it is the practice or it is the Swedana which can be practiced in the Amavasta of the arthritis, sciatica, neurological disorders. For mostly for the Rukshana purpose also, where we cannot give the Udvartana, we give the Churna Pinda Sveda in the patients of diabetes or Kushta. And for the weight loss, for removing excess fat also, we use the this procedure as a Churna Pinda Sveda or Podiki. Coming to the Varuka Sveda, it is a Ruksha type of Sveda, most Ruksha type of Sveda where sand is used for Svedana and the indications are Samavata or Samaroga, Amavata, Urustamba, Medoroga, Kapha Medavruta Vata where Sneha is contraindicated. Contra this type of Svedana or Varuka Sveda is ideally indicated. Then coming to the Kayasika Pijijil, of course in my lectures uh, there is a separate lecture on the Pijijil or Kayasika, but as a part of Svedana, here we will see in the short like it is the special Svedana therapy highly effective in neurological disorders used for prevent prevention of degenerative disorders. It is done with Taila, Kashaya, Milk, Dhanyamla or Buttermilk. Indications are Hemiplegia, Paralysis, Rheumatoid Arthritis, Osteoarthritis, Spinal Injury and Fractures. It is a major treatment we do in the South India for a uh, Rajanam or Tatsamananam patients or for the high profile patients. Bashpa Sveda, it is a Sarvanga type, it can be divided into the Snigdha and Ruksha. What when we do it after Abhyanga, it called the Snigdha Sveda and when we are doing without Abhyanga, it can be called as a Ruksha Sveda or this procedure can be used for the 
Sarvanga for the Sarvanga or for the whole body we call the Sarvanga Sveda and for the local also as a using the Nadi Sveda and it is used for the before all before Panchakarma like before Sve Vamana before Virechana which type of Sveda we do is the Bashpa Sveda for the whole body and indications are as a therapeutic use of Bashpa Sveda or as a therapeutic purpose we use in the osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis a vascular necrosis of the head of the femur, ankylosing spondylosis to relieve the stiffness. Upanaha Sveda, application of warm paste of the drugs with sore liquid and added salt and oil in that is called the Upanaha Sveda. We tie the poultice that is called Upanaha Sveda. It is indicated in the arthritis, bursitis, frozen shoulder, ankylosing spondylosis, tennis elbow or the sports injury we use the in the sport injury, we use the Upanaha Sveda. Then powders for Upanaha, the Nagaradi Churuna, Kottam Chukadi Churuna, Jadamayadi Churuna, the Shangalipa Churuna is mostly used for the Upanaha or according to the condition and availability of the medicine, a physician can use anything for the Svedana to get the better result. Only the con condition is the physician should be aware of the condition of the disease and condition of the patient and availability of the medicines which can be used for the Svedana. So, for in Svedana we can use usually we use a different kind of Svedana in the clinical practice. So, with this thank you all for the listening this Svedana module. I thank you Ayurveda Network for giving me this opportunity. Thank you.